Hello. And in this video, I'm going to go through the Brotherhood for Kings of War, Vanguard. These are all about knights and peasantry, in a sense. Not like the Basilines, although in a lot of ways they are. In a lot of ways they are. Um, if you want a comparison, unfortunately the only one I can think of is Bretonians that Games Workshop really do not care about from what I gather can't really say any more than that unfortunately so the warband special abilities knightly valor only human knight and spellcaster models are considered for determining if the warband is broken the warband is only broken when more than half the num starting number of human knight and spellcaster models have been killed this kind of suggests you need a fair few knights and spellcasters to make this force effective, essentially. Um, if you don't have any, you are going to struggle a fair bit. Impetuous, and you're going to need two power to use this. Use this ability in one of your turns when you activate a command model. Until the end of the round, all friendly human knight models that start... An activation within 6 inch of the command model adds 2 to their speed stat to a maximum of 10. So if you want to get a charge off and you're about 2 inch out, you can do it with that. Um, if you want to move closer to an objective, you can do that. If you want to get closer to be able to cast a spell effectively, then it's got the option there. So the spells then. Mist of Faith, which is short, 6 inch range. No dice roll required. Until the end of the round, all melee and ranged attack rolls against friendly models within 6 inch of this spellcaster suffer a minus 1 modifier to hit. Uh, that's kind of like a cover bonus, essentially. It's it's a nice ability. I'd have thought it'd be long, considering how powerful that is, essentially. Um, but considering how essential spellcasters can be in this faction, I can understand why it's a really, really good defensive spell. Next is Water's Blessing, which is long, 6 inch range, 3d8, target a single friendly model, any, if any successful hits are caused, this model gains the Pathfinder and Vicious special rule, and, and one bonus dies for melee attacks until the end of the round. This needs FAQing. Does the model still take damage? You target a friendly model, most spells do say if the model takes damage or not. So, uh, if, yeah, Mantic, if you could um, FAQ this, please. It, it's not a bad spell, but it it really does need FAQ and whether the model takes damage or not. Uh, Pathfinder and Vicious, not bad for manoeuvrability and for hitting things a bit better. Um, plus one bonus size for melee attacks. That could be quite useful. But yeah, needs FAQ in. So starting with the grunts, starting with the bowman, 7 points, 20 mil base, speed 5, melee 7 plus, range 6 plus, armor 6 plus, nerve 6 plus, 1 wound, height 2, 1d8 at melee, 2d8 at range, it's got bow which is 12 inch range. Now some models in this force are human villain, uh, the bowman's villain, the spearman's villain, um, and the poacher, which we'll get onto, is Villain. So, those models do not count for um, if the warband is broken. Um, 
it's just the others do. Uh, the Bowman's not bad, um, in the sense of it's cheap, uh, unlocks stuff quickly if you want some cheap shooting that might hit stuff a third of the time. Well, not a third of the time, a fifth of the time, I suppose, isn't it, really? Uh, it's all right, isn't it? Next we have the Spearman. Nine points, 20mm base. It's a human villain again. Speed 5, melee 5+, plus, no range stat, arm 5, nerve 6, one wound, height 2. 2d8 in melee, none at range. It's got a spear. Uh, it's also got group defence, which you need one power to use. Uh, when selecting three Villain Spearman, if they are kept in base to base contact, then at the end of the action. Sorry. When selecting three Villain Spearman, if they, if they are kept with, in. So next is a Spearman. Nine points, 20mm base. It's uh, another Villain. Speed 5, melee 5 plus, no range stat. Arm 5, nerve 6, one wound, height 2. And it's got 2d8 in melee, none at range. It's got spear and group defence which needs one power to use. When selecting three Villain Spearmen, if they are kept in base contact at the end of the action, group defence only costs them one power instead of two. So you've really got to make sure they stay together and it won't cost you as much, which means you can use the other power dice to do something else with, which is nice. And spears aren't bad either. Um, fives, arm five. Um, slightly expensive, but then again, you've got the group defence, which kind of makes up for the fact that it's nine points. Next we have the Warriors, starting with the Foot Knight. 15 points, 20mm base. Speed 5, melee 4+, plus, no range stat, arm 4, nerve 4, 2 wounds, height 2. Defender, headstrong and parry. 2d8 in melee, not at range, uh, no special equipment and no options unfortunately. Um, 15 points. It does what it does, it's... Um, it's... it's you get two bowmen for one foot knight, and they're mounted knights, double the points cost. Though I suppose you could take a um, two-handed weapon to give them a bit of crushing strength. that has got that option, so um, in the um, upgrades. Um, hmm. It's a shame it hasn't got any options, but... Uh, it is what it is. It's got good defensive a bit capabilities. I'll say that for it. Next we have the Mounted Knight. Uh, 28 points. Cavalry base. Speed 7. Melee 4 plus. Range 5 plus. Sorry. No range tapped. Um, armor 3. Nerve 5. 2 wounds. Height 3. Cavalry. Crush strength 1. Headstrong and smash. 2d8 at melee. Not at range. Uh, a earth shaking charge. Which needs 2 power to use. Use this ability when this model makes a qualifying charge action. The enemy model that is engaged must make a nerve test with the minus 2 modifier. If it fails, it may not retaliate against the subsequent melee attacks and is marked as fatigue. Um, that is fairly decent. You do need a lot of power to use it, but it's really, really, really good. Uh, armor of 3, crush strength 1, uh, the dice are a bit low, but then again, you're hitting on fours in close combat. Speed of seven. Um, nerves not bad either. You've got headstrong, smash, and cavalry. So any people on foot are gonna gonna really take some dealing. Um, bit expensive, but considering what it can do, it's kind of worth it. Next, we have the support, the poacher. 22 points, 20mm base. Uh, this is another villain model. Speed 5, melee 6+, plus, range 5+, plus, armor 6, nerve 5, 2 wounds, height 2. Inspiring, villains only, so it will inspire um, spearmen and bowmen. Uh, Pathfinder, scout and stealthy. 2d8 at range, 1d8 in melee. It's got bow, which is 12 inch range. Um... It's really there for inspiring more than anything else, isn't it, really? Um, could have done with some sort of um, power dice to 
I don't know, give it marksman or piercing on its bow or something. Just just seems like it's there for inspiring and it's a bit expensive if I'm honest. Um I I can't see much point in other than inspiring to take the poacher. I I really can't see the point. Next we have the large and it is the Earth Elemental. 32 points, 40 mil base. Speed 6, melee 5 plus, no range stat, armor 4, nerve 4, 4 wounds, height 3. Crush strength 2, regenerate 6 plus. It's got 5d8 in melee, not at range. Um, it's, it just does what it says really. And I thought it would have Pathfinder, to be honest, because it's just a uh, um, spirit made of water, essentially. Um, melee is a bit rough considering what it is. But 5d8 with crush strength to kind of to be expected. Armor 4 with 4 wounds. And nerve 4 with regeneration 6 plus. It's going to take it a long time to get rid of it. It really is. It really is. So um, it's, it's fairly decent I reckon. Next we have the spellcaster. The devoted. It's 26 points. 20 mil base. Uh, it's got gives you one blue power die. Mm -hmm. Speed five, melee seven plus, range five plus, arm five, nerve four, two wounds height. Sorry, nerve four. Yeah, nerve four, height two, two wounds. It's got inspiring. Mm. One d eight at melee, one d eight at range. Uh, it's got heal, which is short, lightning bolt, which is long, wind blast, which is long. Um, it's just a basic spellcaster. But inspiring is helpful. Um, you could use it to lightning bolt and wind blast, but you kind of want it there for healing to make sure the models that are counted as knights stay. Obviously, you can use it on your Vlain stuff, but the um, the knights are what you want to keep alive. Um, and one blue powered ice that that in bad at all. Um, it's not a bad pointed spellcaster actually considering what it does. I would have liked to have two D8 at range, but beggars can't be choosers, I suppose. Next we have the command, the Exemplar. 41 points, 20 mil base. Two red power dice. Speed 5, melee 4+, plus, no range stat, arm 3, nerve 4, 3 wounds, height 2. Crush strength 1, defender, headstrong and inspiring. 4D8 in melee, none at range. Lead by example, which needs two power to use. Uses his ability when this model kills an enemy model with a melee attack. All friendly human knight models within 6 inch may remove any fatigue counters they have. Um, considering how needed knight models are in this force. The exemplar is one I'd say you really need to take. It's a pretty good combat monster. Um, it's very good defensive wise. It's got defender, headstrong, and armor three with three wounds. Um, it's going to take it a little bit to die, even if they've got a fair bit of crushing strength. So let's say crush strength three makes it armor six. Um, mm, yeah, mostly you're going to face crushing strength one or two, really, aren't you? So, okay, that makes you armor five. So. Five, six, seven, eight. So half the time you're going to pass your saves. So mm, that's not that's not too bad. Um, <laughs> that leave for an example kind of suggests you want to push the um, night models and get them fatigued, and then if you've got the opportunity, use the lead from example swoop swoop in there. Kill Summit weak like a grunt or a warrior or Summit, and then everyone gets get the fatigue knocked off. It's not Summit you're gonna win games with the ability, but it's Summit that I think will really be effective. As I keep saying, the Knights are the backbone of the force, and yes, you've got cheaper Valane units. There's only really two that's useful. The Bowman has its use, but it's a bit naff. That's why it's cheap. And the, sp and the Spearman isn't bad, but it's... Yeah, that's why it's only nine points. 
and that's the thing this force can get fairly expensive but you've got you've got a lot of defensive capabilities and you've got a fair bit of crushing strength once you're able to get things going um your again close combat is where you excel and holding objectives and wearing enemies down they're kind of similar to the league of raw here in a way in except for the brotherhood are way way more defensive but way 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 more expensive so that's it for this video goodbye for now